Like many highly developed nations, the U.S. is facing the problems that come with an aging population. The Census Bureau projects that over-65s will outnumber under-18s by 2035. This silver tsunami is boosting the elderly care products and services market and increasing demand for senior care living facilities. Kyoko Gasha pays a visit to a recently opened luxury senior living residence in Manhattan. At first glance, this looks like a five-star hotel but it's actually a new senior living facility in Manhattan. Called Inspire, it costs $330 million to build. It has all the latest bells and whistles. With COVID, we ended up adding um, you know, additional filtration systems, UV lighting that would kill the virus, air ionization strategies throughout the building. It probably cost us around another million dollars or so. Historically, Seniors have gravitated to the suburbs, but millions of baby boomers are now reaching retirement age. An inspired CEO says they are demanding a more urban style of living. This is encouraging developers to enter high-cost markets like New York for the first time. Former judge James Peck became the first resident of Inspire in March. He needed extra care that his wife, Ada Samuelson, could no longer provide. I'm just eager to see my husband. It's a difficult decision to put your loved one in a facility like this. I wouldn't put him anywhere else. The couple chose Inspire for its luxury, high standard of care, and convenient location. It's a wonderful place, the people of places. This is the, the cream of the crap. But it doesn't come cheap. Residents pay a minimum of $13,500 per month, which includes access to services like a concierge, in-house medical staff, a movie theater, hair salon, and special events such as virtual entertainment with Broadway actors. Demand for facilities like this will continue to grow. According to the U.S. Congressional Budget Office, by 2050, 20% of the U.S. population will be 65 years or older, up from 12% in 2000. Many of them will need living assistance. The elderly care services market was worth more than $976 billion in 2020 and is expected to grow at an annual rate of more than 10% over the next seven years, according to Global Market Insights. But the vast majority can't afford upscale facilities like Inspire. AARP, an advocacy group for older Americans, wants all senior care facilities and nursing homes to put their residents above shareholders, particularly after the pandemic revealed systemic weaknesses. It says additional staff should be hired and they should receive better training and pay. It also says seniors should be supported if they wish to stay at home. I think the most important thing we can do to have a better future in senior care is to make sure that people have many choices. So if they need help with bathing, with dress dressing, et cetera, that they can stay at home if they choose to do that and that their family caregivers have services and supports also so that they can stay at home. If you choose to go to a nursing home, that should be a choice, but not your only choice. The National Academy of Social Insurance predicts that by 2050, there will be 15 million seniors needing long-term care in the United States. There is no one-size-fits-all when it comes to picking where to live. But for those who can afford it, the choice could be a luxury residence on the Upper East Side. Kyoko Gasha, TLT World, New York.